Hello, today we're going to be looking at how to file electronic pathology and radiology reports. This video will explain how to navigate the pathology and radiology inbox, how to file reports, and also how to file reports in bulk. In order to file pathology and radiology reports, you will need either the pathology user or pathology administrator access right. The pathology and radiology inbox can be found under the workflow menu or with the shortcut Control and Y. The number of pathology and radiology reports assigned to us individually can be seen from the home screen and this also provides a button to access the inbox. While in the pathology inbox, we can use the tabs up the top to show the reports that currently need to be filed, as well as searching for reports that have been filed, have arrived or have been deleted over a specific date range. If we have the reports ready to file tab selected, a checkbox will allow us to only view reports that have been assigned or directed to us. We can also view reports that have not yet been assigned to a recipient to file, and reports that have not been matched to a patient. The current number of outstanding pathology and radiology reports can also be viewed using the counters at the bottom of System 1. These will show things such as the number of reports assigned to us individually and the number of reports that are ready to file overall. The numbers from the pathology counters at the bottom of System 1 can also be double-clicked to take us to the required tab. When looking at the list of reports, we can see details of each report, such as the date it arrived, the battery headers, and any flags, such as whether the report has been viewed or whether it has been matched to a patient. The reports are color-coded to identify if there are any abnormal results. Red means there is a reading present that is outside the normal range. Blue means that all readings are within the normal range. And black means that some results do not have an associated range, for example, a microbiology report. Right-clicking over a report allows us to do a number of things, such as view the report, reassign it, match it to a patient, and delete it. These options are also available as buttons on the toolbars at the top of the Pathology and Radiology inbox. In order for a report to be filed, it must be matched to a patient and assigned to a recipient. And this can be checked using the icons under the Flags column. This report has not been assigned to a recipient and this report has not been matched to a patient. To view a report, either right-click and select View Report, choose the View Selected Report button from the toolbar, or double-click on the report. When viewing the report, we can see the details of the report in the top section, and if we select a specific value, then we will be able to see any previous values in the bottom section. Any abnormal readings will be flagged with a plus if it is above the normal range, or a minus if it is below it. Additionally, if we want to see any other numeric readings, we can click on the Graph Old Readings button at the top of the screen, and then select any presets to be viewed as a table or a graph as required. If there are multiple battery headers within one report, such as full blood count and vitamin B12 level, these can be selected and viewed with the tabs along the top. A battery header must be viewed before the report can be filed. The patient home banner is visible down the right hand side and can be used as normal. The patient record can be accessed by clicking the demographic box in the top right and this can be useful if we need to view or add information whilst processing reports. Once we have finished with the record we can click on return to result in the top left to return to the previous screen. To file a report we can either select file entire report if we want to file all battery headers with the same details, or file battery to file just the currently selected battery header. This can be useful if we want to record different information or follow-up actions for different types of test. Once we have selected the option to file a report or battery header, we will be presented with a dialog where we can record our interpretation of the result and any required follow-up actions. We will also be able to see if the patient has any booked appointments and use a risk calculator if required. Any other comments can be recorded in the box below. These will be visible to other staff when viewing the report from the patient record, but also to the patient if they have access to their record online. A message can also be added to the patient's next prescription. If the patient has access to the record online, the checkbox in the patient to be informed of this report defines whether we are prompted to send an SMS or email to the patient to notify them of the report. 
If this is unchecked, the report will still be visible online, but they will not be notified of this. We can also archive the report at this point, send a task, send an SMS preset, a custom SMS message, and add the patient to an e-workflow. Once we have selected the required options, click on OK. If we have chosen to send a task, the task dialog will appear at this point, along with the result indicator, follow-up actions, and filing comments. If all the battery headers have been filed, the report will move automatically to the next one in the list, otherwise we will remain with the current report. And the filed report will now be visible from within the patient's record. It is also possible to file reports in bulk, and this will quickly file all results in the current list that are flagged as normal. To do this, from the Pathology and Radiology inbox, click on the Bulk File button. It will ask us if we want to bulk file the results for the corresponding patients. Click Yes to confirm, complete the filing dialog as required, then click OK. Thank you for watching. Please have a look at some of our other videos to learn more about electronic pathology and radiology reports in System 1.